this and now point them out. Making my babies proud, wanna cop my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the drought. Yeah. I buy like, I buy like 23. 23. Won't fall again and I put that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart. Take another L. Designer on me, this that new Chanel. Did that splash? Did that drill? Yeah, yeah, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. Ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals. Daniel Carlson set to kick off. former Auburn kicker Daniel Carlson to get this one started and we are underway here on EA Sports and no run back on this one so the new season will begin at the 25 yard line For the 2018 Pro Bowler, James Conner. Five, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. At the 29-yard line. Play fake. Murray. Goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. The good signal calls would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Snap comes to Murray at one. This one complete to the running back, Chase Edmonds. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. First down, Murray. He'll air this one out for Kirk. It's caught inside the 25. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. 
Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a start right out of them. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Connor. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Second and three. line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. and goal. They'll run here with Connor and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Bad place to fumble down here in the red zone. At least they got it. They'll have another shot. Or no, they won't have another shot. It's going to be fourth down. Maybe they can at least salvage three. And they were thinking six points because at this position of the field, it's go time, right? You take your shots at the end zone. They weren't able to do that one. So you look over at the sideline, there's head coach saying, oh, heck, kick it, field goal time. one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But no doubt, a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drive. They had three points in their back pocket. It was there for them. If you don't like what you see, just throw it away. Make sure you get those points on the board. Don't get too greedy. He forced it there. You saw the end result. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Again, looking for Samuel, this time the catch made. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play 
never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now Saquon Barkley, and this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 27 yards there, a first down. And the 49 first down. Barclay, toss play left. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Second and Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. We're scoreless after one. No score. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now it's Barkley. And I think the ball's out. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 40. Past the 20. 10. And they bring this one back. So this defense clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason to improve this defense. I have to say they like the early returns. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Niners take over at first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They had the auspicious beginning to the season, a first drive turnover. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Lines up and lets it go for Samuel. And this is caught at the 20. It's over. It's over. It's over. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, 75 yards. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And the worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback.
Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing now is Murray. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. calling they had a really nice gain on the previous play but gave about half the yardage back on the sack excellent pressure up front nowhere to go with the football down he goes so now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack work to be done Play action. Now it's Murray. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Maurice Hurst able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Murray with a third and long. And that will be incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he can make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one. Looking up into the roof, and he muffs it. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, a ball finds its way back to him. Atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, here's Barkley. And the running lane's not existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley, and another first and ten here. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle and Franklin partner. It's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fade. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. contact to hold on to that one and it's third down he did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived and i've got to tell you you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach 
When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well. Think I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now, seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, <laughs> two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't. Angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. that coming up in two minutes we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year he'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend and that is incomplete a lot of force bearing down on him there he could not hang on it's third down that's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football knowing full well he's got a man coming his way full steam and he broke that one up From the gun on third down, Murray going deep for Hopkins. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, the Cardinals. DeAndre Hopkins, 69 yards. And the Cardinals have retaken the lead. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Now Prater to add the PAT. And that makes it 14 10. Good. Makes the score Cardinals 14, 49ers 10. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They had fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. The play action. 
action fake. They'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. A gain of six there on first. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. The intended target, Saquon Barkley, and it's third and four. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw again. That's complete to his receiver, Ayuk. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They'll look to throw now on first down. Open man, Hamler, that's complete. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They're going for Hamler, but this is intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it. And he'll return it to the 24 yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense the playbook is still open for the coordinator here's second and seven now from the 28 They'll keep it on the ground again here. Now what a first down pickup of eight. First and ten at the 36-yard line. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Matt Prater is set to kick off. see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. set to get this drive underway and in enemy territory last time through the interception we'll see what they do on this drive can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling do they continue to throw the ball 
Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How, how much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. Second down, Barkley. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Running lanes read a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Again, it's Barkley. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackle made by Marcus Golden. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Taking a shot for Samuel. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the 49ers have retaken the lead. Sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now 17-14. Fielded in the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned, because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Here's a second and two. Again, it's Connor. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Throwing on first down is Murray. They'll get this to his running back, Edmonds. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. A cardinal first down on a gain of 13. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and 10 is counter. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Here's Murray from midfield. Oh, nearly picked. That may be lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. 
Roy did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Throwing is Murray on third down. That's complete to Edmonds, his running back. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. Here's Connor. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked in terms of the side. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. From the gun, Murray. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. A 51-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will tie things at 17-all. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they get into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. They'll run with Barkley. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. A gain of three, second down. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First down, 49ers. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. 
Well, some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Jarrell Casey with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. To the sack it's second and 19 and the road gets a bit tougher from here they take a shot downfield there but it winds up falling incomplete good coverage that time by Malcolm Butler one thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball you're just counting on your receiver to find it adjust before the defensive back can get his head around in this case though the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. On third down, Barkley. Space to run past the 20. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Saquon Barkley, 33 yards. And the 49ers have moved out in front. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Makes the score, Niners 24. Barkley's 17. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 34-yard line. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And he fires one that's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, Want to play mistake-free football? Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. And that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 18 yards, first down Niners. But you said it earlier in the quarter when we saw a broken tackle then that we might see some missed tackles here early on in week one, and that's another one right there. Yeah, not a surprise at all. It will even out as the season extends because everyone will get used to the play speed. But right now, here in the early season, the advantage definitely goes to the offense. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. throw. Rush coming and he's taken down. Yeah. CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And this came from the edge and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. And a look at the next gen stats reveals that that sack occurred in all of 2.3 seconds. And you think you want to be an NFL quarterback? They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. play fake he'll look to throw and he's gonna go down again 
Jarrell Casey picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Complete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make him score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, pushed their backs clearly against the wall. This will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of it. And the ball is knocked out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Retains possession. Shotgun now for Murray. Escaping the pressure right. He'll run it. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Open man is Kirk, complete. Midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Get it. Get it. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Operating from the gun, Murray. The hookup on the right side to Hopkins. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. A seven-yard pickup. On second down, this is Edmonds. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To throw is Murray. Looking left sideline, incomplete. The pro bowler, DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league. Totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. But sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. Left side, Hopkins. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Oh, boy, you ain't got no feet. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. 
the offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Niners 34, Cardinals 17. Daniel Carlson set to kick off. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. These fans just kind of beside themselves right now. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to let it fly. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. And down he goes, the 49ers get there. And Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot, third and long. And the pressure gets to him again. The sack by Jordan Willis. A big loss on the play, brings up fourth down. So the victory here for San Francisco. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for San Francisco, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for Arizona, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.
Nike check, t-shirt check, sneakers check, socks check, hoodie check, shorts check, Nike check. I done made about a million and I'm on the white tee. I see on a white tee. And shorty got a man, but she saying wife me. I got chests coming in like a pair of Nike. If I like it, then you know I'm fit to get it. Get the bag and then I flip it, watch me do it. Stripes, said it's all right. Then I cut her off. Shorty stepped on my off whites. Okay, now wait, wait, wait. Gotta get the bag and racks every day. Don't tell me to relax, I can't. I'm saying, saint. Gotta new press those in the chase and away. Gotta new press watch, but it don't take time. I pull up on a hop if it's up too hot. And you wanna play ball, hit a three point shot. Boy, this my court, got a block on lock. I done made it by the million and I'm only 19. Uh, I see water dripping on a white tee. And Shorty got a man, but she's saying, wife me. I got chests coming in like a pair of Nike. If I like it, then you know I'm finna get it. Just do it. Nike check. <laughs>